Hello everyone, BT aka Gerard here, FXLive, daytrading.com, and this video here now is the first of a series of videos that's going to be part of the 90 day challenge. So what we decided was many of us, obviously if you've been trading for a long time and you're successful at it, you should have a sizable account after years of trading, okay? What I am getting at here is many customers will start off with small accounts, but yet they'll trade like they're trading a big account, and hence the account gets destroyed sooner than they know it. So um, I thought, why not begin an account and we'll follow it for 90 days and we'll see now we've done this in the past but but never really documented each trade but uh what we're gonna do is um go ahead and i will be doing a video on each and every trade um, some of them i will post here on youtube uh, some of them i won't they will be available at fxlifedaytrading.com for a very uh humble monthly um, library fee but at the same time I'm gonna do the best that I can to get some of these up here so this began yesterday and as we ended the month obviously a lot of funds closing out their positions um, it is the 31st of August and what I mean by funds closing out their positions let me go to the chart here make this a little bit prettier as I'm talking but um, the funds will um, you know close their positions out and they'll do so the money managers on the last day of the month obviously this way they can go ahead and generate some commissions so you do see uh, is sometimes you'll see chop Sometimes you'll see big moves. It's really hard to say, oh, there's always going to be chop. But for the most part, if you have an up month, a lot of times the last day of the commission month is going to be up. That's what I've noticed over the years. Maybe some of you different opinions, but I wanted to take it light today. So it was really just tiny little trades, okay, on this account. Now, um, you know, this is the one. Um, there's a link on the website too. You can track every trade there, uh, even if you're not a member. So um, let me let me just start with trade number one. I, I you know sometimes I do trades and I forget. Okay, so we had the stop and the target of this one. Now this is uh, you know the sizes have to be small, but these are really not small in comparison with the account size that we started with, which is only twenty five hundred dollars. All right. Um, even five grand was voted down because I said, well, we can start with five. And, you know, the thing is, the average account is only about $2,000 in Forex. I think it's even less. The average accounts that, that, that um, you know, ask us for um, education in Forex, that's usually what they're about. Um, but for the most part, I think, it's, I think it's a lot less. Okay, so let's get to it. Aussie dollar, I had a short last night, all right? And this was at 73.63, and the stop was at 73.84, and the target we did hit here, it's green, 73.43. Um, let's see if I can find that on the chart. I believe it was this here. Okay, let me close this out. And again, this is going to be MT4, and the reason I'm using MT4 for this it's easy to use, and at the same time, if we decide that we do want to send signals, which I'm not even sure, at least it's an MT4, which there's you know different softwares that you can use. So this here, this was a nice pattern that I recognize, and I thought it was a good opportunity with a risk reward, and I went ahead and and here it is right here. I went ahead and and took this. Now this is the Aussie dollar. This is a 30 minute chart. We had that pretty big candle higher after we had that that sell-off um hope you can see this let me see if i can zoom in a little bit better yeah i don't know if that's really much better but lower this 
So basically, it was this move down, just a little gradual move down, and then it came and it just barely hit target. So it wasn't, you know, such an exceptional trade as far as whoa, the momentum was there, but um, everything was lining up. Um, I decided to go ahead and, and handle it, take it, and it worked out. And then. Really, today, it was just a trade here, a trade there, you know, 10 pips here, 15 pips there. Now, you're going to see a lot of trades, and you're going to be like, well, what is this guy doing 10 trades for, you know? And it's just a habit of me adding to something. It's a habit of me, um, you know, getting out. Sometimes I'll size out. Um you know, I'll try and I'll try and keep it more simple, but you know, if that's working for me, just know that when I do a sell of fifty, then I do a sell of ten. That's technically like the same trade. And then I said, okay, it look looking all right after a candle close. I'll add a little bit. So five, six, seven, eight. And that's that's the same trade technically. So you got technically you got one, you know, two, three. I think there was four trades today, and that's it. All right, so four trades for a whopping $186.35. Okay, now, this over here is an old account, so there was an addition and a withdrawal, a deposit of 55 And, you know, this was just one of those dead accounts that I had sitting there. I said, hey, you know what, I'll just use that rather than start, I don't know, opening up new ones. It just, it, it, it gets time consuming sometimes when you're dealing with the console, whatever. So here we have it, and this is the first trade. And um, um, if you want uh, a bit more technicals, uh, this is where I'm going to uh, you know, end this video right here for YouTube. Um, for those of you who are in our member section, I'm going to keep going. But for right now, I'm going to stop it. But like I said, those who are in the member section, I will continue. Okay, so I hope this helps some of you out there. And uh, now I'm going to go to um, why I decided to go in and so on and so forth. Okay. More information, check out FXLiveDayTrading.com.